What's going on, Tywin here, bringing you another Infinity Blade video. This is part two of Cyrus's Act One mission. Where I left you off, we were about to fight this uh, <coughs> Titan here, who is guarding a chest. Um, I do end up dying, I think, to this guy. Um, I ended up dying a few times during this first initial playthrough, but not not too many it uh, was not it was not too challenging honestly um, I was more into the storyline than into uh, fighting any of the Titans uh, the first time around it adds a nice uh, kind of closure to the Infinity Blade trilogy and does set it, and the ending does kind of set it up or maybe we could have more games so I did finish my initial playthrough of all the main missions, they're all recorded. I just have to edit them and, and upload them for you guys. Um, uh, there are five acts and we are in act one right now in this video. It is the first act uh, with Cyrus. I did not play any of the side missions so uh, after I finish uploading all my uh, main mission videos I will be bringing you a the side mission videos as well. Uh, the side missions are cool because you get to go back uh, to some of the areas of the main missions and you and play as either Cyrus or Issa. And depending on who you play with, there are certain things that you can unlock that you couldn't unlock um, while you were that other character. One thing I did notice when playing through the game, they did seem to try and make it a little more difficult. The Titans, a lot of Titans towards the end of each castle are a fairly high level uh, compared to you. Like, you're fighting level 50 Titans sometimes when you're like level 6. But even so, it ends up not being so much harder, but just the fights seem longer and take longer and longer. So. I did appreciate that they did try to uh, up the difficulty a little. And there you see I died because I dodged too early. That's okay, we'll just go ahead and fight him again here. I'm not gonna edit out, I thought about editing out my death, but you know, I'm human. I do occasionally die even when playing Infinity Blade. Uh, and I think it's a disservice to you all to just pretend that I don't die. So. Now that I finish my that I finish this playthrough, after I get them all uploaded, uh, I'll bring some more how tos. I'm really interested in bringing some tutorial videos for you guys on um, the heavy weapons, so on Cyrus's heavy weapons and on Issa's heavy weapons. And she, of course, uses staffs and spears. Um, those of you who have play the game or are currently playing that you're probably uh, seeing some of the heavy weapons that, that uh, both Cyrus and Issa get to use. Uh, some pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. So. But anyway, now back to what this mission is about. We are going to try and find the data pad that you saw Raydriar um, get rid of in the beginning of the game in the tutorial. The data pad has a secret to destroying the worker. It's how we can destabilize his quip, his QIP, his quantum uh, identity pattern. Is uh, The only way to do it is sort on that data pad. So we have to get it. So now we're at one of Raydriar's strongholds. Uh, taking on some Titans trying to find where he sent that data pad. And those of you who played through this act already, you know that there is an interesting, uh, the, the boss of this castle, the deathless boss of this castle is an interesting uh, character, one that we've seen before. I don't want to give it too much away, but if you've read Infinity Blade Redemption, then it's not really a surprise to you who you end up fighting in the, at the end of this castle.
So this is about got this guy down. You can go get that check that he was got and see what what prizes might be in store for us in there. I'm really curious to know how you guys um, are liking the game. What do you think of uh, the new game? What do you think of all the new designs, like the new store layout and how it works with mastering and selling back items and the gem fuses? Uh, let me know in the comment sections on all, all my Infinity Blade 3 videos. Let me know in the sections what, you, what you're having troubles with, what you're really enjoying, and anything that you want to see me do that I can try and help you with. Leave them in the comment section. Uh, just give me that money. It will just give me that much more uh, ideas for videos. If there's something that you guys are struggling with uh, and you want to know how to do certain things, then of course uh, let me know in the comment section. Of course, I'll be doing throughout the next month or so, you know, every week I'll be doing Infinity Blade videos. Probably three days a week because I have a really busy schedule. Um, for this initial week here though, I'll keep, I'll try and upload every day until the end of the main missions, the fight with the worker of secret. Then I'll probably go to three, three videos a week, but I'll do all the obligatory videos. I'll show you how to, you know, all the maps that I find and when I find where they are, I'll make a video of them so you guys can see uh, how to find the hidden weapons, any secrets that I come across. I'll of course let you guys know. If I do find a gold glitch that works, um, I'll let you know. The one, the, the store glitch that was useful in Infinity Blade 1 and especially in Infinity Blade 2 to help you uh, glitch some gold, they've, with the redesign of the store, that, that glitch is no longer possible. But if I do find any glitches um, along those lines, I will post them here for you guys that want to see them. Now we're heading into the, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. We're heading into the hallway that leads, <laughs> leads to the throne room or whatever it is that you want to call it. So we're almost at the end, almost at the end of this level. Oh, one thing that I'll mention quickly, but I'll make a I'll make a dedicated video about this as well. Once you beat, once you play through, once you play through the main mission, it will unlock um, some of the Clash Mob uh, extra trials and stuff that uh, there aren't any up yet, but they're coming soon. When you click on it, just <laughs> it just says check back soon. But um, but um, but um, but as soon as those are up, I will of course give you guys the heads up. Alright, we're almost, almost got this guy beat, and then we can uh, continue on uh, to the end of this castle. 
Sorry about, the, sorry about the length of the video. Yeah, I was gonna cut it in half. Make it. I was gonna make it a three part. It's already a two part episode. The first part aired yesterday. Um, but I didn't want to make it three parts. Two was enough, I thought. So this one is twenty minutes, which I try not to make them that long normally. But these missions are very. They're very intricate. Each, some of the missions are almost as long as the entire playthrough of Infinity Blade 1. Like, Infinity Blade 1, you could play through and beat the God King in 10 to 20 minutes. If you beat all the bosses, you could do it in like 30, 30 to 40 minutes, depending on how, how good you were and what level you were at. And some of these missions can range between 15 and 40 minutes, roughly. So... They are, when, when Chair Entertainment went on the Apple event and said that there's eight worlds that are, you know, roughly the size of Infinity Blade 1 or whatever they said, they weren't, they weren't exaggerating all that much um, because each act is like the equivalent of playing uh, one game of Infinity Blade 1, more or less, time-wise. So you have five acts. Um, I would say it's, uh, you know, five times at least bigger than Infinity Blade 1. I think the whole playthrough took me between three to five hours. I was recording and, and uploading. I went, I'm not sure exactly how long it took me. I'm going to try to figure out how long it takes to do a complete uh, playthrough of all the main missions. But... I'd say anywhere between three to five hours. It depends on how many how many times you die, <coughs> and if you have to restart an awakening. Luckily, I didn't end up having to restart any awakenings. I beat the boss. Um, I ended up being able to beat the bosses, and not have to go back to the beginning of the awakening. If you die to one of the deathless bosses at the end of the level, you get sent back to the start of the awakening. Um, if you die to a normal titan, however, you can just retry from that titan. And as you can see here, this is Radriar. But it is a soulless clone of Radriar. It's not the real god king. It's just... It's a fake that has uh, many of his memories and attributes, but it's not the real god king. And they show this by have, making it have a different voice than... Uh, the Rage Rider we saw in the tutorial video. <laughs> but you do see, I was going to say, he is holding a heavy infinity weapon. Um, it's actually called the Infinity Cleaver. It's not as strong as the Infinity Blade. But if you buy the Infinity Blade in the store, it's plus 600 attack points. The Infinity Cleaver is only plus. 100 but it's very overpowered for the beginning of the game so it helps you uh, get through you you could really if you're good with heavy and you like heavy you could just use the infinity cleaver to get through um, all the bosses up into the worker of secrets and beat the game that way because it is definitely overpowered heavy is always a little overpowered in the beginning it was that way in infinity blade 2 as well so it's not surprising that the, that the Infinity Blade Cleaver or the Infinity Cleaver is a little overpowered, but it's it's kind of nice to help you get through uh, the, the initial playthrough. If you're struggling a little, you can equip that heavy Infinity Cleaver. <laughs> there it is, the Infinity Cleaver. Um, one thing that you're gonna see as I go through this playthrough that you probably already realized on your own or from watching maybe Silver the Beast. Uh, videos over on Infinity Blade fans. You know, say I've uploaded a ton of videos over the past few days. That there are, there are maybe a dozen or so Infinity weapons throughout the world. There's the Infinity Blade. There's the Infinity Blade duplicate that we see um, Ashamor holding and and the Worker of Secret holding in the tutorial. There's the Infinity Cleaver, there's an Infinity Spear, uh, it looks like they're made from, from promos and trailers in the beginning, 
uh, before the game release, it looks like there might be dual infinity weapons and also um, for Cyrus. And there's also dual daggers and dual infinity daggers for Issa. And I'll show you as we go through how you get all those infinity weapons. Um, <laughs> something that was. I, I'm glad they kind of added that to the game. It, you defeat certain deathless bosses and they'll drop an infinity weapon which is a very powerful uh, weapon that can help you get through uh, the initial playthroughs of this game uh, I'm probably going to end up uh, when I test out the reforge process I'm probably going to end up reforging the infinity cleaver and keep mastering that up as my weapon of choice for a while until I get that maxed out at 10 um, then I'll move on to maybe a different weapon. Um. So there we go. Another infinity blade? You can't win, you know. Can't win, you know. You're at, we know. Everyone keeps telling us we can't win, but unfortunately for this soulless clone, we know something he doesn't. <laughs> and after we beat him here, we will uh, go retrieve the secret that we came for. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I'm going to leave it at that. Let you watch the end here. And uh, I got another video coming tomorrow. We will do uh, Issa's first act. Her first mission. So you get to see me play for the first time as Issa. And we'll see how that goes. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Leave me comments and leave me leave me comments below. Like this video, all that jazz. And I will see y'all soon. Peace. Did you find what you were looking for? Another Deathless was posing as Radriar, and he was armed with this. It's an Infinity Blade. It seems the worker has made a new one. There was no sign of Radriar. We have to assume the worst. I've seen something like this before. Where? In the Sekian Desert. Something I came across when I was researching how to free you from the vault. I should go with you. I'll be fine. I'm deathless now, remember? Tell, I need you to go back to Drem's Mall. What for, Master? The right weapon. Master, there's a ship coming in. They found us. We meet again, handsome. You. Whoa. I came to trade. Trade? You want to sell me what you stole from me? <laughs> stole? You know her? No, I... You weren't hard to find. This cove has been used by smugglers for centuries. Don't worry. I have no love for the Deathless. Your secret is safe with me. How can we possibly trust you? You can't. But paying customers are worth more to me than dead ones. So step aboard. I won't be staying long. Merchandise you might be interested in.
Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe for great iOS gaming content and to follow me on Twitter.